It is also like the hottest day of the summer here in New York. It's currently 94 degrees, but it says it feels like 105. So shutting off the air conditioner and having to open up the window for some good sun, pray for your girl. I'm gonna do this quickly so that Simon and I do not um, sweat too much. If you're joining me, it's because you saw the title and I am going to be giving you all um, the pros and cons of teaching summer school. So is it in fact worth it? I have three pros and three cons for you guys. The first pro that I have is that summer school will help you gain experience. Especially if you are a new teacher, I think that it is a very low stakes, low pressure environment to teach. And so you really do get to build the experience of what is it like to make lesson plans. You really do get to challenge yourself. But again, it's not as much pressure as if you were teaching throughout the entire school year and with the like um, the pressure of administration and classroom management and all this stuff. Like you do deal with those things, but definitely not in the same high anxiety, high stress environment. And so I would definitely say that building experience is one of the best things if you are a new teacher. I would highly recommend doing summer school so that you can build that experience and then you go in in September or August or whenever your school year starts and you already have some background as to how to operate and you will go in there with your nerves a little bit more at ease, not 100%, but a little bit more at ease um, as to what to expect. My second pro for teaching summer school is that you get to build early relationships with a lot of the students. For myself, when I taught summer school, I was teaching, so I always teach seniors, or usually, and I was teaching the juniors who were about to be seniors in September. And so it was a really great opportunity for me to start building relationships so that when I saw those kids in the classroom, when I saw them in the hallway, I already had some type of rapport with them and that was able to help me like lock in a very positive relationship with the student. And because it's not as high of a um, stressful environment, you can, can get away with just like asking a little bit more questions like oh so how are you or you know why did you end up here like tell me about your work ethic tell me about your study skills and you really get to learn a lot about the kids and implant a lot of really helpful strategies so that they don't end up in summer school next year and sometimes those conversations can get lost in the hustle and bustle of the regular school year and so for sure i definitely took advantage of that time really just trying to understand the students and provide uh, valuable advice and feedback. My third pro for teaching summer school is obviously the money. Now, especially if you are already a first year or second year teacher, and if you teach in New York, for the most part, depending on your school, you're already getting paid for the summer. So summer school is additional money. And so this, of course, is a benefit. You get to work less hours because most schools uh summer school is a half day or maybe you may have friday off and then you're making extra money on top of what you were already making for your normal salary and so i mean come on you know the hustle is real and so if you're someone who's looking for extra cash maybe you're not a new teacher and you're like you know what um i really could use the extra money i'm paying off my loans i'm paying off a credit card i want to go on vacation next year and you can just collect save a lot of your summer school money and then you can use that towards whatever uh financial goal or plan you have with that money so those are my three pros for teaching summer school now let's get into the three cons that i have So the first con is that there may be a lack of direction or a solid curriculum depending on your school they may be extremely organized they may already have a set curriculum and these are things that you follow or you can get thrown into a situation where you are creating everything on your own and i don't mean just materials or worksheets or lesson plans I mean the actual setup of the curriculum where you're trying to figure out what are the major pieces of information that the students need to know in order to get credit for the course. And so it does vary from school to school and I would say that that is a really big con because you end up putting in a lot more work and effort than you may have anticipated. And so for sure asking questions at your school, what are 
make sure expectations are clear and the administration um, is communicating with you what exactly it is that they want from you and what exactly it is that they expect the kids to know by the end of the summer school session especially if it's a year-long course there's no way that you can get through every single thing in just four to six weeks and so definitely clarifying expectations with administration is a must my second con for teaching summer school are the hours now I did say that in a lot of schools you do have half days, you may get Fridays off, but if you are someone who has to travel long hours to get to work, even 45 minutes to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour both ways, now that's two hours of your day, and then also not including the time that you're spending at home to prep. Now I totally understand, that's just a part of the, um, the life of being a teacher you have to plan and prep but remember summer school hopefully is optional for you and so that may be something that you haven't considered at least I didn't when I taught summer school I just thought oh my god it's 8 to 12 this is great Four hours I was counting on the money I thought I was gonna be making but I wasn't getting home until about 1 32 o'clock and then because it was so hot outside and with the travel and taking the trains I would take a nap I would wake up, then I would have to make dinner, then I was prepping for the next day and it felt like I was doing my regular teaching schedule except I had the opportunity to nap for an hour in the day. So keep that in mind, but I'm speaking from my experience, I should have said that earlier, but my experience is that um, the hours didn't feel as short as I thought they would. Um, considering that I was getting out significantly earlier than I would have on any other uh, school day um, throughout the school year. Wow. Con for teaching summer school is that you miss out on the extended break. Now I know this isn't obvious. If you teach summer school, you don't get the full two months off or whatever the case may be. But in my opinion and in my experience, that time has been so needed for my mental health, for just refueling my body, getting back into a routine where I took care of myself and my health. And when the year that I taught summer school, I started that school year in September exhausted because I was already exhausted by the end of June. Summer school started maybe a week or two after and then I only had about two weeks until the school year had started again. And I know for some people, they're probably like two weeks. I, I, would, I wish I had two weeks off. I wish I had a, a whole month in general, but I'm just speaking for myself and I know what my body can handle. It, I felt tired starting the school year and that's something that has really caused me to not do summer school again is because I really needed the fresh perspective and the passion and the excitement and the fuel to rebuild so that I can start the school year in September um, fresh and unfortunately the year that I did do summer school I was tired and again I know that's not everybody um, but that was myself I just didn't start the year the way that I would have liked to and I know that it was because summer school had made me weary it had made me tired and um, I was tired of planning and then I had to plan for the whole school year so those are my three pros and my three cons to teaching summer school Ultimately, it is up to you. I am here to give you guys the information based on my experience, and I think it's an individual decision. You decide what is best for you, if you think that teaching summer school is a pro, or if you think that it is a con for your life, for your lifestyle, for the way that it is set up. I know teachers who have been teaching for five, six, seven years, and they still teach summer school. And so this is just from, again, I can't stress it enough, my experience is, but I 100% believe that the decision is solely on you to make and decide with as much information as possible that you can gather if teaching summer school is worth it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Do not forget to like and subscribe.